Welcome, brave souls, to a bone-chilling countdown of the top 10 horror movies of all time. Prepare to be terrified as we venture into the sinister realms of cinema and uncover the films that have sent shivers down our spines for generations. I'm Robot Ray, and together, we'll explore the masterpieces of fear that have left an indelible mark on our nightmares. Movie Number 1, The Shining, 1980 The Shining, 1980, is a psychological horror film directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on the novel of the same name by Stephen King. The story follows Jack Torrance, Jack Nicholson, an aspiring writer and recovering alcoholic, who accepts a position as the winter caretaker of the isolated Overlook Hotel in Colorado. Jack moves in with his wife Wendy, Shelley Duvall, and young son Danny, Danny Lloyd. As the hotel becomes cut off from the outside world due to heavy snowfall, Jack's mental state begins to unravel, influenced by the supernatural forces within the hotel. The film masterfully builds tension and psychological horror, with Kubrick's meticulous direction creating an eerie and unsettling atmosphere. Jack Nicholson delivers an iconic and intense performance as the increasingly unhinged Jack Torrance, and the film's memorable scenes, such as the creepy twin sisters and the blood-filled elevator, have become ingrained in popular culture. Kubrick's The Shining is renowned for its visual style, intricate symbolism, and deliberate pacing. The use of the Overlook Hotel as a haunting, labyrinthine backdrop adds to the film's sense of claustrophobia and unease. The movie is celebrated for its ambiguity and open-ended conclusion, allowing viewers to interpret the supernatural elements in their own way. Despite initial mixed critical reviews, The Shining has since become a cult classic and is widely regarded as one of the greatest horror films of all time, influencing subsequent generations of filmmakers and leaving a lasting impact on the genre. Movie Number 2, The Exorcist, 1973 The Exorcist, 1973, directed by William Friedkin and based on William Peter Blatty's novel of the same name, is a landmark horror film that has left an indelible mark on the genre. The story revolves around the possession of a young girl, Regan McNeil, Linda Blair, by a demonic entity. When traditional medical and psychiatric treatments fail to help Regan, her desperate mother, Chris McNeil, Ellen Burstyn, turns to Father Damien Caras, Jason Miller, a troubled priest struggling with his faith, and Father Marin, Max von Sydow, an experienced exorcist, to perform a harrowing and intense exorcism. The Exorcist is renowned for its chilling atmosphere, unsettling imagery, and groundbreaking special effects that were way ahead of their time. Linda Blair's portrayal of the possessed Regan is particularly memorable and contributed to the film's lasting impact. What sets The Exorcist apart is its exploration of the battle between good and evil within the context of religious faith. Friedkin's direction, combined with Blatty's script, creates a deeply unsettling experience that taps into primal fears and questions the boundaries between the natural and supernatural. The film received critical acclaim and became a massive box office success, earning 10 Academy Award nominations and winning two for Best Sound and Best Adapted Screenplay. The Exorcist remains a cultural touchstone in the horror genre, known for its intense and visceral portrayal of demonic possession and its enduring influence on subsequent horror films. Movie Number 3 a Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984 A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, is a groundbreaking horror film directed by Wes Craven that introduced the world to one of the most iconic and fearsome villains in the genre, Freddy Krueger, played by Robert Englund. The story centers on a group of teenagers in the fictional town of Springwood, who find themselves haunted by a malevolent spirit in their dreams. The malevolent force takes the form of Freddy Krueger, a disfigured and razor-gloved killer seeking revenge from beyond the grave. What makes the film particularly chilling is its blurring of the line between dreams and reality, as Freddy's attacks in the dream world have deadly consequences in the waking world. Craven's inventive approach to horror, combined with England's charismatic and sinister portrayal of Freddy, contributed to the film's immediate success and its lasting impact on the genre. A Nightmare on Elm Street is celebrated for its imaginative and surreal set pieces, such as the famous scene where Freddy's glove emerges from the bathtub, and for introducing a new dimension to horror with its exploration of nightmares as a deadly battleground. The film not only spawned a highly successful franchise but also left an enduring legacy in horror culture. 
Freddy Krueger became a horror icon, and the film's influence is evident in subsequent slasher and supernatural horror movies. The concept of a killer who attacks in dreams has become a hallmark of the series, making A Nightmare on Elm Street, a seminal work that continues to haunt the dreams of horror enthusiasts. Movie number 4. The Witch, 2015. The Witch, 2015, directed by Robert Eggers, is a period horror film that has garnered critical acclaim for its atmospheric tension, historical accuracy, and psychological depth. Set in 1630s New England, the story follows a Puritan family that is exiled from their plantation and forced to live on the edge of a dark and foreboding forest. As they attempt to build a new life, strange and malevolent occurrences unfold. The film explores themes of religious extremism, isolation, and the paranoia that can arise within close-knit communities. Anchored by exceptional performances, especially from Anya Taylor-Joy as the eldest daughter Thomason, The Witch, is a slow-burning and unsettling film that relies on mood and psychological horror rather than traditional jump scares. Eggers' meticulous attention to detail and commitment to historical accuracy, from the language used to the period accurate set design, enhances the film's immersive and authentic experience. The Witch has been praised for its cinematography, atmospheric score, and its ability to evoke a sense of dread and unease. The film's ambiguity and willingness to delve into the psychological unraveling of its characters have made it a standout in the horror genre. The Witch received the directing award in the U.S. Dramatic category at the Sundance Film Festival and has since become a cult favorite among horror enthusiasts for its unique approach to storytelling and its departure from conventional horror tropes. Movie Number 5. Hereditary, 2018. Hereditary, 2018 directed by Ari Aster, is a psychological horror film that stunned audiences with its disturbing and deeply unsettling narrative. The story revolves around the Graham family, who grapple with dark and mysterious forces following the death of their secretive grandmother. As the family unravels the sinister secrets of their ancestry, a malevolent supernatural presence begins to wreak havoc on their lives. The film is known for its slow and atmospheric buildup, intense family dynamics, and a series of shocking and traumatic events that culminate in a nightmarish climax. Tony Collette's powerhouse performance as Annie Graham, the family matriarch, earned widespread acclaim and added to the film's visceral impact. Astor's directorial debut is lauded for its intricate storytelling, intricate symbolism, and its ability to elicit genuine terror. Hereditary, received praise for its emphasis on psychological horror, as well as its unflinching exploration of grief, trauma, and the breakdown of familial bonds. The film's disturbing visuals, along with its skillful use of sound and music, contribute to a sense of dread that lingers long after the credits roll. Hereditary, is often cited as one of the most effective and chilling horror films of its time, earning a reputation for pushing the boundaries of the genre and leaving a lasting impact on audiences with its nightmarish and unforgettable imagery. Movie number 6, The Conjuring, 2013. The Conjuring, 2013, directed by James Wan, is a supernatural horror film that revitalized the haunted house subgenre and became the cornerstone of a successful cinematic universe. The film is based on the real-life paranormal investigations of Ed and Lorraine Warren, played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. The story follows the Warrens as they assist the Perron family, who experience disturbing and malevolent supernatural occurrences in their Rhode Island farmhouse. Juan skillfully crafts a tense and atmospheric narrative, blending traditional horror elements with a strong focus on character development. The Conjuring is known for its effective use of suspense, well-executed scares, and a chilling atmosphere that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. What sets The Conjuring apart is its dedication to building a sense of dread and its commitment to character-driven storytelling. Wilson and Farmiga deliver compelling performances as the Warrens, adding emotional weight to the supernatural events. The film's success spawned a franchise, including sequels, spin-offs, and a shared universe known as The Conjuring Universe. James Wan's direction, combined with a strong script and a commitment to practical effects, contributed to the film's critical and commercial success. The Conjuring is often regarded as one of the standout horror films of the 2010s, achieving both mainstream success and critical acclaim for its ability to terrify audiences while paying homage to classic horror tropes. Movie Number 7, The Ring, 2002. The Ring, 
2002, directed by Gore Verbinski, is an American remake of the Japanese horror film, Ringu. The story revolves around a cursed videotape that, when watched, brings about a phone call foretelling the viewer's death in seven days. Investigative journalist Rachel Keller, played by Naomi Watts, becomes entangled in the curse after her niece succumbs to it. As Rachel delves into the mystery, she discovers the eerie history of the tape and the vengeful spirit behind it. The Ring is praised for its atmospheric tension, chilling visuals, and effective use of supernatural elements, creating an unsettling experience that resonated with audiences and became a significant influence on the horror genre. One of the film's strengths lies in its ability to build suspense and create an ominous atmosphere. Verbinski employs a sense of visual and auditory unease, combining haunting imagery with a foreboding score. Naomi Watts delivers a compelling performance, conveying a mix of fear and determination as she races against time to unravel the mystery. The Ring played a crucial role in popularizing Asian horror remakes in Hollywood and contributed to a trend of supernatural horror films in the early 2000s. Its impact is evident in the lasting influence on the horror genre, and the film remains a memorable and chilling entry in the pantheon of horror classics. Movie Number 8 the Omen, 1976. The Omen, 1976, directed by Richard Donner, is a classic supernatural horror film that became a seminal work in the demonic child subgenre. The story follows an American ambassador, played by Gregory Peck, and his wife, played by Lee Remick, who unknowingly adopt a malevolent child named Damien after their own newborn dies. As Damien grows older, mysterious and disturbing events surround him, leading the ambassador to uncover the horrifying truth about his son's origins and destiny. The Omen is renowned for its ominous atmosphere, chilling score by Jerry Goldsmith, and its exploration of religious themes, particularly the concept of the Antichrist. The film's iconic scenes, including the sinister presence of Damien and the use of biblical prophecies, have left an indelible mark on horror cinema. One of the film's strengths lies in its ability to create a pervasive sense of dread, enhanced by Donner's skillful direction and the haunting musical score. Gregory Peck's convincing portrayal of a father grappling with the sinister reality of his adopted son adds emotional depth to the narrative. The Omen received critical acclaim and commercial success, earning two Academy Awards for Best Original Score and Best Original Song. Its impact on the horror genre is enduring, inspiring numerous imitations and sequels. The Omen stands as a classic example of horror storytelling that skillfully blends supernatural elements with psychological horror, leaving audiences both terrified and contemplative. Movie Number 9, Insidious, 2010 Insidious, 2010, directed by James Wan, is a supernatural horror film that garnered attention for its effective scares, atmospheric tension, and a fresh take on the haunted house genre. The story follows Josh, Patrick Wilson, and Renee Lambert, Rose Byrne, a couple whose son Dalton, Ty Simpkins, falls into an unexplained coma. As they move into a new home to escape the eerie occurrences, they realize that it's not the house that's haunted but their son. The film takes a unique turn by exploring the concept of astral projection and the existence of a dark, supernatural realm called, The Further. Wan's direction, coupled with Lee Wanell's script, creates a chilling atmosphere, and the film is known for its effective use of practical effects and traditional scares. What sets Insidious apart is its ability to blend traditional haunted house elements with a fresh and inventive narrative. The film keeps the audience engaged with a series of unexpected twists and turns, and its reliance on psychological horror adds depth to the scares. The eerie musical score by Joseph Bashara further enhances the film's unsettling atmosphere. Insidious was a commercial success, spawning sequels and contributing to the resurgence of supernatural horror in the 2010s. Wan's approach to horror, along with strong performances from the cast, makes Insidious a standout in contemporary horror cinema, earning a reputation as a genuinely frightening and innovative entry in the genre. Movie Number 10, The Grudge, 2004. The Grudge, 2004 directed by Takashi Shimizu, is a Japanese horror film that gained international acclaim and was later remade for American audiences. The story revolves around a cursed house in Tokyo, where a vengeful spirit torments anyone who enters. 
The narrative unfolds through a non-linear structure, with interconnected stories of people affected by the malevolent force. The film explores the concept of the curse being passed on through contact with the haunted house, creating an eerie and atmospheric experience. The iconic, ghostly figure of Keiko, with her signature croaking sound, became a symbol of J-horror and left a lasting impact on the genre. Shimizu's directorial style, characterized by lingering shots and a deliberate pace, adds to the film's unsettling atmosphere. The Grudge stands out for its psychological horror elements, relying on a sense of impending doom and the inescapable nature of the curse. The success of the film led to an American remake in 2004, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar, which introduced the eerie tale to a wider global audience. Both versions of The Grudge are celebrated for their effective scares, chilling atmosphere, and the enduring legacy of their supernatural antagonist, making it a noteworthy entry in the realm of international horror cinema. And there you have it, Brave Souls, the top 10 horror movies of all time. These films have tested our courage, pushed the boundaries of fear, and left an indelible mark on the genre. Whether you prefer the classics or the contemporary nightmares, these movies have shaped the landscape of horror cinema. Join us next time as we continue to explore the terrifying depths of the unknown. If you found this video fascinating and informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Robot Ray channel for more incredible explorations. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on exploring.